of it. Now the second issue and that is Tital Fi Sabirillah. Because this had become something very big problem for the, for the Munafiqeen to risk their lives. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu khuzu hizrakum fan firu subatin avin firu jamia. Oh who believe, oh you who believe, take all the precautionary methods, precautionary steps, hizr, precaution, saving yourself. Don't put yourself into, into your dangers. Up till whatever you can do, you must take all the precautions. Then you can go for the cause of Allah. Fanfiru subatin. Either in the form of detachments and small groups. Avin firu jamia. Or as a whole formation. As an army. These are the two forms of warfare. Gorilla war. Small groups going. Just as the Prophet ﷺ just after Hijrah. He sent small groups. To Nakhla. To the place near Badr. And so on. And an army moving, full formation. Fanfiru Sobatin, Avin Firu Jamiya. You have to now go out to go, go out to war for the cause of Allah. And verily there are amongst you who will just lag behind, linger behind. Well, I'm still making preparations. I, I'll leave, yes. I will also go. But you know, I have to arrange for some certain matters. He delays, lingers behind. Fine asabat ko musibatun. Now, if something unpleasant befalls you, supposing the Prophet was sending a small group and an army, an expedition, and you were also assigned to go with them. You said, I am not yet ready. I am just arranging for my, you know, conveyance and so on. And the detachment or the, the army has left. Now if to this army something bad, something unpleasant, some bad incident takes place. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had much mercy upon me and his grace that I was not with them. Had I also been with them, I would have made the same, met the same fate. So, I thank Allah. He has been very merciful, very kind to me. And if you get the grace of Allah, that is, you are victorious, you have returned with booty, much of the ghanima, now he would say, Oh, had I been also be with them. So I would have also have met this success and this grand, you know, achievement. I would have also taken a part in it. And he would say this, as if there was no relationship, no love, no friendship between you and him. Otherwise, if you have a love for those who went in the way of Allah and they have returned victoriously, you should be happy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given grace to my friends, my brothers. They have returned honorably, victorious. If you had any connection with them, any love for them, any brotherly feelings for them, but because these munafiqeen don't have any brotherly feeling, they are not happy over it that these my brothers, they have returned home safe and they have returned with success. He will be saying, alas, would be that I was also with them so that I should have also got the share in that triumph and success. فَلْيُقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يَشْرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا بِالْآخِرَةَ Very important ayah. So those of you who have really sold their worldly life for the life of hereafter. This is the essence of Iman. You have to sell this worldly life if you want to get the paradise in the hereafter. 
دوز آف یو الزین یشرون الحیات دنیا بلا خرا فل یو قاتل فی سبیل اللہ ہی مسٹ گو ٹو وار ان دی وے آف اللہ اگین اٹ از ناٹ فرد اس از پرسویشن اف یو ہیو ریئلی میڈ دیٹ بارگین ود اللہ سبحان و تعالی If you have really sold yourselves, your bodies, your lives, and your belongings and wealth to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, in the last hour, bin al mu'minin al fusawwa walahum bi anallahum al jannah. If you really want to enter paradise, then you must go and fight for the cause of Allah. No alternative for you. Fal yuqatil fi sabil Allah illadina yashur al hayat al dunya bil akhirah wa man yuqatil fi sabil Allah, and whosoever goes to fight. And goes to war in the way of Allah. Fayyaktul, fayyuktal. And if he is murdered, he is martyred, he is killed, or yaglib, or he is victorious, he overcomes the enemy. In both cases, fasaw fanuti he ajran azima. We shall give him a very big reward. It is immaterial whether you have laid down your life in that battle or you have come back home. safe and sound if you are shaheed or you are ghazi for the reward it's absolutely equal because you went to the war you risked your life you were ready to lay down your life so allah subhanahu wa taala in both cases fasaw fanuti ajran aziba wa ma lakum la tuqatiluna fi sabilillah now this wa ma lakum this mode of expression is which which you call searching question penetrating eyes you know you ask somebody a question and that is really not a question it's a searching question with penetrating eyes you ask him famalakum wamalakum what has happened to you o muslims what is the matter with you la tuqatilu fi sabilillah you don't go to war for the cause of allah in the way of allah wal mustadafin and for those who are oppressed people muslims in makka being oppressed persecuted and still you don't want to go to war against the the quraish of makkah wa ma lakum la tuqatiluna fi sabil allah wal mustadafina min al rijal wal nisa wal wildan those oppressed people among them are men and women and children alladhina yaqulun who are saying and praying to allah rabbana akhrijna min hadhihi al qaryah o our lord take us away take us out from this city from this town azalim ahluha whose people are oppressors evil doers waj'al lana min ladunka waliyan and appoint from your own personal bounty min ladunka from your own personal bounty appoint appoint for us waliyan a protector وَجَعَلْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ نَصِيرًا and appoint for us some helper from your own personal bounty. Now those men and women and children are crying and praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and you want to sit back in your homes, and then you say you are Muslims, you are Mormons. How come? What a contradiction! Allah Din Amanu Yuqatilun Fi Sabil Allah. those who have real belief who have come to believe really yuqatiluna fi sabil allah they are fighting in the way of allah for the cause of allah wal ladina kafaru yuqatiluna fi sabil at-taghut and on the other side those who are disbelieved who have rejected the faith who have not accepted iman they are also fighting but they are fighting in the way of taghut Now this is the polarization which is, you know, in this society. When Islamic dawa, real dawa, not this dawa which you are making here, you know, the real dawa as a movement, a revolutionary movement, the dawa of a revolutionary movement is something else, and the dawa of a missionary organization is something else. There is a hell of difference between the two. The dawa of a communist was something else. and the dawa of christian missionaries is something else no comparison no similarity the hell of difference the dawa of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was something else it was revolution oriented to change the system to establish the rule of allah on earth thy kingdom come to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth that was 
we end before this da'wah. So actually, when this process, you know, proceeds further, gradually this society is broken into two parts. Polarization, you call it. On the one hand, there will be people who are Hezbollah. On the other hand, on the left side, the Hezbollah shaitan. This is Hezbollah. This is Hezbollah Taghut. Now Abu Jal was also fighting. He also laid down his life. If 14 Muslims laid down their lives in Badr, 70 of Kuffar laid down their lives. They were also fighting, but fighting for the cause of Taghut. You must remember, you know the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah just after Ayatul Kursi. وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالْتَاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُوَةِ الْعُسْقَى You have to say La ilaha first and then illa Allah. You have to disbelieve and reject all the taghut and then you have the real belief in Allah. وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالْتَاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُوَةِ الْعُسْقَى Now these are opposing you know, parties and groups and armies. Oh Muslims, if you are awliya Allah, either you are awliya of Allah or you are awliya of Satan. Either you belong to Hezbollah or you belong to Hezbollah Shaitan. Either you have to fight for the cause of Allah or you have to fight for the cause of Taghut. No middle sex in between. Either to this side or to that side. Only two. But this polarization only takes place at later period. In the beginning, there's a mixture. But you know, as the dawa, as the movement, as the revolutionary process proceeds, the polarization, you know, that also continues. And now two distinct groups come face to face. Inna kaid al-shaitan ikana zaifa. Inna kaid al-shaitan ikana zaifa. Kaid means the designs of shaitan, the plot of shaitan, the strategy of shaitan. It's very weak. It appears to be very strong, but actually, all his designs, all his plannings, all his plots, all his intentions are very weak. Only Allah is testing the true believers whether they come up to it or not. 